Sunday Telegraph now and an article about fubbing. Um, Nick, uh, why don't you just fub off? OK, Mark. Um, if, if <laughs> what I mean so... is that, I mean, I mean, fub off as in develop the fub thing. Yeah, I didn't hear you. I was, I was looking at my phone. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what fubbing is. If you don't know, the, 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 the headline is, is fubbing ruining your relationship? Probably not as much as you thought. So... Fubbing is where you ignore someone, you're in the middle of a conversation, you suddenly start looking at your phone. It's incredibly obnoxious. But the argument of this article is that our culture has degenerated so much that it's actually not even considered rude anymore. Uh, 450 people were surveyed and 95% felt fubbing was, was not personal and accepted that phones were often used simply out of habit. So this is where we've, this is where we've uh, arrived at, really. And the, the times when it, it really bothers me are... When you're in the middle of saying something serious and someone looks at your phone, I once had a situation in America and I was, I was out with someone and because it was really expensive for me to get data, they just went on their phone and I couldn't without spending a huge amount of money. So then you're in real trouble, you know what I mean? Normally you can just go on your own phone, but I'm saying when you can't, that's when it's an absolute nightmare. But in general, I think it's rude and I think we, we, our society has degenerated that we think this is OK now. I think you're just being sensitive. Like, Me? Yeah, because oh, it's just a clear never. indicator that you should improve your communication skills. If you're boring the hell out of somebody where they go, I'd just rather scroll for Instagram pointlessly, then, you know, kind of step up your game. But can anyone compete with the... Te- Ever since we've had mobile phones, I noticed when you're talking to someone, it's true. it doesn't matter who you're talking to, they get a message. That always takes precedent. Is it? I mean, you're in the room with Mark Dolan. It doesn't get any more interesting. But Correct. someone else messages you, and for some reason, Mark doesn't matter anymore because non-room person who hasn't even bothered being in the room <laughs> takes precedence. Why because is that? Because whilst I enjoy spending time with Mark Dolan, that message could be opening up a, a gateway to a lot of, um, let's say, sexual opportunities for me. I now, see. Whilst yeah, that's a good Mark point. is a very good-looking man, he's far too tall for me. Do you know what? When it used to just be I knock your head... <laughs> when it was just Nokia 3210s, I'm moving on from that. Um, that's when it really annoyed me because all it was was a message from someone else who hadn't bothered being in the room. Now that you've got the entire world and the entire internet, I do see that it's obviously a temptation to go on your phone. I think you just, like, you're, you know, you're insecure because you, now you're competing with the entire world. But I knew a guy who you're talking to him, and literally halfway through the conversation, he just suddenly zones out and he's on it. it that's mental, isn't it? I mean, yeah. at least wait a second, do it at a pause. But also just walk away from that person. Yeah, well, I have. There you go. Uh, do you know what you mean? Um, it's interesting, isn't it? We've only had smartphones for about 12, 13 years. It's relatively new technology. And I think we haven't created, Dimitri, the, the etiquettes around this technology because mm. it's still so new. Yeah, well, this is actually what part of this ar- ar- article is about, is the fact that whilst a lot of people used to take it as a huge insult, now they c- people understand and they go, oh, no, I understand you want to check your feed. I understand you want to check your information. And also, we used to just finish work... And that would be the end of it. But now your input is coming in at all times of day and night. So a lot of things are happening. And exactly. You stay Correct. And, you know, what is more entertaining, Nick Dixon or Angry Birds? <laughs> right. By the way, Angry Birds, the game, not, uh, not the exotic website. Or, or Annoyed Women. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I thought you were going there. <laughs> uh, fasc- fascinating conversation. Uh, let's move on.